What is up, guys? NYKF31 here, Madden 17. Playbook review series is back. Picking up where we left off, we're on the Giants now. We did the Falcons the last uh, video. And we're on the G Men. Weird playbook, this, as I'm starting out under center. I like to start out under center first out of all these playbooks just to see how functional it is under center and how long I can go under center before I'm forced into going to, into shotgun. And then from shotgun, how well they pick up blitzes from the edge and um, how well their concepts are structured and whatnot. Now, the problem with this playbook, it's part Giants, part old Giants playbook from about two years ago and part Packers, which makes sense if you think about it, how the Giants have been coached the past couple of years. Um, when Gilbride and Coughlin split up, they went away from being this spread pro style, run and shoot style offense with a lot of choice and uh, deep crossing routes and switch concepts to being more of a spread West Coast type of team. So you have a lot of those old giant formations. The formations out of the shotgun are really spread heavy. You don't have bunch. You don't have a split back uh, shotgun set. You don't have um, a close shotgun set or a snugs. You do have some decent um, ace sets. You have the ace um, close there. Ace deuce close, I should say. And the single back sets from under center are actually pretty nice. I like the doubles. I like the Y trips. You have some good stuff here. Pay action flow is very nice. You have flanker drive. You have play, um, slot post. Got some decent stuff there. As well as out of the wide trips, you have smash. You have wide receiver screen. Um, pretty good formation there under center. This is one of those playbacks where I actually prefer the under center game as opposed to the shotgun. I'll get, to, I'll get into that later on. Um, we also have... A little bit of the Green Bay Packers playbook influence with the shotgun wing sets and a couple of the empty sets, or one of the empty sets rather, is from the Packers playbook. But the problem is you don't have enough of either one, and it really leads to a playbook that doesn't really have a lot of things to um, go to out of it. There were times when I was struggling to find um, a set and a play that I liked, both in terms of route concepts and also um, to feel confident enough to block edge heat out of. Um, shotgun spread here is nice. You got the play action uh, deep out there. It's got some nice concepts out of it. I think this is basically the home base, so to speak. If you go out of the under center stuff, you have flanker dig, deep attack, hitch seam, smash. You got a couple of um, shallow cross concepts, the inside cross and the follow. Even that post flag is useful in um, some instances. I'm running it here. I'm not really concerned about the double moves to the outside, which is a shame. Um, but these uh, whip routes here are pretty nice. I get separation there on both of them. And if you have some quality slot receivers here, like a Jordy Nelson, when you get separation like that, you can get some quality um, yards after the catch. Play action Z Gunner is another good one. It's a pretty well to put together set, but the problem with um, these spread sets, if you go against an edge blitzer, you're pretty much limited towards running halfback base like this, or running play action, or motion snapping the uh, slot receiver across to hopefully pick up the blitzer. So it's limited in that regard because a lot of the playbook is like this. This comebacks play is nice. That um, double move zig route there will hold the uh, slot defender for zone. But I couldn't quite hit it there. Going to try to run the inside zone here out of trips. This is why trips ISO. So, you know... Conceptually, the formations I actually like, but the way the game plays presents some problems. If you're going against a guy who's going to bring heavy edge heat. This gun um, empty here, this empty set is actually very good against edge heat because you have a lot of block and release routes. And plus, it's pretty good in the red zone here. You have a couple of routes going over the middle that you can high point pretty nicely. I just kind of didn't have enough room, and Randy Moss got called for illegal touching because he was out at the back of the end zone first. But you have that. You have drive under, wide receiver corners. 
running drive under here, which is basically a levels type of concept. I'm going to miss Gillisley coming out of the flat here. I kind of locked on to the middle of the field. But this is another nice one that I like a lot as well. And you can also protect yourself against edge keep by blocking either the back or the tight end. You don't have to sacrifice too many resources. I'm back in single back deuce close. You can run bench play action. You can run the um, tight end crosser. Here I'm running bench. And you know, you just read the levels that, that pop open. Sometimes both pop open. Sometimes one or the other does, depending on what defense the person is playing. This guy was in cover three drop, so you just make sure you read the right side and throw it to the level that um, opens up first. Going to stay in single back deuce close here. Going to run the wham. I've been trying out this position um, hero, not position hero, season hero, Mike Gillisley. He's a 91 overall. He's more of a um, loser style finesse back, and he's not that bad. I kind of like him. He's a good budget back. If you're looking for a decent budget back um, that can get the job done, doesn't cost you a ton of, ton, of, ton of coin, he can get the job done. This is not really a playbook for you know eye formation, not a whole heck of a lot there. A couple of goals is nice. You have your stretch, you have your flanker drive, you have your Texas concept. It's pretty plain Jane in that regard. Most of your time is going to be spent in spread sets out of the gun or under center at a single back. But you do have, you know, some functionality there if you want to muscle the ball, but passing the ball, you're not gonna really do too much of that out of this. This smash, spot play, it basically highlights the fact that this game needs to get much more advanced with its route concepts and how they operate. You got a good triangle read there between the corner, the uh, snag route, and the um, halfback flaring, but these receivers, they don't, they're not aware enough at all, they're not aware at all, as far as finding space and zone coverage, so that spot route, it just runs right into a linebacker, and, and he takes himself from being a viable read, so I was forced to uh, either go to the smash side, work the smash side, or hit the halfback in the flat, and I went to the halfback on the flat, and he dropped the ball. So these playbooks in general, they just have to do an, a much better job as far as um, getting route spacing and route combos and wide receiver splits right, as well as making receivers aware of finding space for a zone and throttling down their routes, as opposed to running their routes the same way, no matter what the coverage is. Again, I'm back in spread. Deep attack is a good player and running um, halfback angle. We have double out there from the slots. He ignores or is late to recognize the angle route, and I'm able to hit the back coming out of the backfield. That's a good play for working the uh, short sidelines of the short flat area. Occasionally, I would hot route one of those receivers to a slant or a street to kind of hold a user backer, but that in that case, it didn't have to. I just ran it stock. Inside zone, ran in with Gillisley. Gillisley's not bad. He's not bad at all, and he won't cost you a lot of coin. Their gun doubles, it's okay. Flanker drive, flanker dig, four verse, the play action read. A public service announcement about the play action read that have boot action attached to it. Take control of your quarterback right away. Or you have the, an excellent chance of rolling right into a sack. Or, you know, abort the play action or quicken the play action with the right trigger. So, back on O. I like that smash play at the running back going down the seam. I'm going to dial that up here, and again, looking to see, I, I think he got caught, he got caught in the corner, but he's playing hard flat, so we hit the uh, corner route right behind it. I like Smash a lot, I'm really good at reading it, I don't get it wrong very often, and it's a good way to um, consistently high-low zone coverage. Not a lot of deep outs in this playbook, so you got to create your own, again, that's a common thing across the board. Off coverage there. I figured he was either in cover three or happened to be in man one there, so I just snapped it off. Off coverage man one is like stealing in this game. Here my opponent on second and short. He's saying, please run the ball at me, so I oblige. I mean, my gosh, really soft box there. 
These double flex wing sets are horrible. Look at the, you just see that delay route on that um, slant flat. Why, why is that there? What purpose does that serve to have a delay route? It completely ruins the play. The stack off set play is a formation that's in a lot of playbooks. I don't find it particularly useful. Not really quite sure why that's there either. That pretty much sums up the Giants playbook. You're like, okay, you have some good stuff in it, but a lot of stuff makes you go, why? Why? <laughs> I'm squatting on four verse there. Tomorrow. I finally upgraded the ultimate freeze, Randy Moss. I couldn't look at a Randy Moss that's barely faster than Ed McCaffrey any longer. Really nice shallow cross concept there. You got a deep comeback, a square in opposite the shallow cross. I like that, as well as the back coming as well. Going to run some halfback base here. Didn't do really a good job there with that at all. So, you know, the playbook, it's not the meta. If you're a competitive Madden player, you like much salary cap, or, or you're playing in tournaments, you probably wouldn't touch this playbook with a 10-foot pole. Although, you know, you do see some guys uh, run non-meta stuff here and there, but I think this playbook would be a really tough playbook to run if you're going up against a guy who runs a lot of nickel edge heat or dollar edge sheet. I think you'd have a lot of problems. You'd have to play out of this wing set here, motion to tight end. You'd have to play out of the empty uh, flex set. It would really throw out an awful lot of this playbook. So, you know, the Giants playbook, I don't think it's a top 15 playbook. I don't think it's a top 20. I think it's going to fall on that bottom tier. It's not as bad as the Bears and Niners mess, but it's not great either. So I'm going to put it right at 25. And, you know, I think it's going to be right in that, uh, I don't know, 21 to 28, 25 to 30 range. So there are my current playbook rankings at the Jags next. Be on the lookout for that. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace.